Welcome to the ACT Premium video series. In this video, we'll explore customization and why you would want to customize anything in ACT. Almost anything in ACT can be customized in one way or another. Let's take a look at the detail view for a contact. With customization, you can rename, replace, or remove any of these fields to suit your needs. The tabs at the bottom can also be reordered or removed. You can change the color of the text or any of the field's labels. You can even choose which of these fields can be viewed by your users and which should be hidden. Let's say you want to create a new field for the contact layout. We'll go to the Tools menu and click Define Fields. On the View Fields for drop-down list, we'll leave it selected as Contacts. And now we can see all of the fields already available in ACT for the contact record. But if you want to create a new one, click Create New Field on the left. First we're going to give this field a name. I'm just going to call it Region. Then decide the data type for the field you want to use. In a previous video, we talked about the types of fields that exist. Text fields, date fields, yes, no checkbox fields, monetary fields, and drop-down lists. This list shows that there are many more available at your disposal. You can use the ACT digital knowledge base to learn the requirements and purposes for each of these field types. I'm going to leave this as a character field. Looking at the options below the data type list, if you check the allow blank box, this will let your users leave this field blank. If this box is not checked, this field will require some sort of data entry. The generate history box will create a history record for the contact each time the data entered in this field is changed. You can use a pre-existing drop-down list if you've already created one and want to use it again here. Or you can create a new list. Let's click Next. Now I need to enter the drop-down list name and type. I'm going to call it Region, and it's a type of character, and the description is going to be North American Region. Here I can allow the users to edit items in this list, or I can just keep them static. I'll click Next again. And now I need to enter some values for this list. We'll just do the four basic regions. Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, Southwest. Next, we can customize the behavior of our new field. You can give it a pre-existing default value or require it to have a specific type of format. For my example of the drop-down list, I want to limit it to the list that I've provided. I don't want them to be able to select more than one region. And since I didn't enter descriptions, I don't want to show any. And I'll enable the type ahead so that users can see what the values are while they're typing. I'm not going to put a default value here or a field format or a field length since each of these is already determined by the drop-down list that I provided. Now that we're all finished, I'll click Finish. My field name is Region, and it appears now in my list. So I can click Close. Now after creating a field, it's important to remember that ACT doesn't automatically add it to your layout. Creating the field is the first half of the job. Now what we need to do is customize the layout of the detail view for our contact records. So I'm going to go to my Tools menu again, and I'm going to hover over Design Layouts and click Contact. This opens the contact layout window. Take a moment to notice that each field has a label to the left of it. And then the field name itself is listed within the field box. It's important to understand the difference here. The field label to the left is what your users will see on the screen. The field name in the box is what determines which field actually appears. It is possible to have a field label that doesn't match the actual field on the screen so you'll have to pay attention to this detail when customizing your layouts. To delete any field, click on it to highlight it and then press the delete key on your keyboard. You'll have to do this also with the label. To add a field to your layout, you'll use the toolbox on your left. There are two portions to this toolbox. At the top there's the drawing section, which allows you to add text, images, or even rectangles around your fields, grouping them together. The second section is the field section. This lets you add a field to your layout, and here's how to do that. 
From the Fields section, select Field, and then hold your mouse button down while stretching a new field rectangle on your layout. This will set the shape of the field. Also, the Select Field window now opens, and here is where you will select the field you created. I'm going to use the Region field that I just created. I'm going to check this box that says Include a Label because I want my label to match my field. So now I'll click Add. You'll notice that the Region field and its label now appear on my layout. Now I can click either of these to drag them and move them to where I want them to be. I can change the size of my field by dragging its borders. Once you're satisfied with the layout, click the Save button to save this layout. And then we'll go to the File menu and select Exit. You'll notice now that my new field appears where I drew it. If you'd like to perform more complex customizations to your ACT application, we strongly suggest consulting with an ACT certified consultant. For more information on contacting a consultant near you, go to acc.swiftpage.com. This concludes this video on getting started with customization. In the next video, we'll look at user security and limiting access to ACT data.